Can I work while student teaching? It is strongly recommended that you not engage in significant employment while student teaching. Significant employment is interpreted to mean 20 or more hours per week. Student teaching is a rigorous program requiring preparation before, during, and after the school day. Can I receive credit for previous teaching experience? Students in the regional academic centers enrolled in non-degree certification only programs cannot transfer credits or waive field experiences. You are required to take all three field experiences. The MAT program does not have a waiver policy for previous experiences. All candidates must complete all three field experiences before they can be recommended for graduation and certification. Undergraduate students who are degree seeking can receive transfer credit and or a waiver for field work one under certain conditions. This decision is determined during the full admission process. Transfer credit can be awarded in two ways. Transfer credit is awarded to students transferring from institutions that the TIF College of Education has an articulation agreement with and if students have successfully met a particular requirement at that institution that would adequately suffice for our early fieldwork course. Our offices will determine if sufficient evidence is there to support the transfer credit. Transfer credit can also be awarded to students transferring from institution, institutions we do not have an articulation agreement with, but students will need to fill out a transfer credit form found on our website, explaining what previous coursework could be accepted for the transfer. Approval is not automatic and will be determined by the Office of Field Placement and the chair of your program. Waiver credit. Undergraduate degree-seeking students can receive waivers for Fieldwork 1 if appropriate previous experience would successfully count in place of Fieldwork 1. Waivers are not granted automatically and waivers should be applied for during the admission process. Waivers will be determined by the Tift College of Education's Office of Field Placement and the chair of your program. Can I substitute teach during my student teaching and does substitute teaching experience count for credit? You may not substitute teach while student teaching, nor does substitute teaching count as field experience. Can I conduct field experience in my place of employment? Field experiences can be done in a place of employment with prior approval. You must fill out an application for field work in your place of employment. These forms can be downloaded from the application system, the website, or picked up in the Office of Field Placement. Requests are not automatically granted and you should talk with the Field Placement Office prior to applying for your course. If employed, do I have to take a leave of absence in order to complete my field experience? If you are not employed as the teacher of record in your classroom, you most likely will be required to take a leave of absence. Plan ahead as many counties require notification up to one year in advance. Insurance you should obtain liability coverage and be able to show proof of this coverage. Liability coverage is very inexpensive and can be purchased through SPAGE, a division of PAGE, or GAE. Information can be found on their website or in the Office of Field Placement. You will have to have proof of insurance in order to apply for any field experience. Applying versus registration. There is a difference in applying for a field experience course and registration. You must apply for each field experience course each time you are ready to take one. The application system can be found on the Tift College of Education's website. Remember, you must view the online field experience presentation and take the test in order to apply for field experience courses. You only have to take and pass the test one time in order to get access to the application system. Simply applying for an experience, however, does not register you for an experience. That is a separate process. The Office of Field Placement has four general application periods, two per semester. Mid-September is the spring general application period for practicum, mentored practicum, student teaching, and internship. Mid-October is the spring general application period for pre-practicum experiences. Mid-February is the fall general application period for practicum, 
mentored practicum, student teaching, and internship. Mid-March is the fall general application period for pre-practicum experiences. Mid-April is the summer application period. EDUC 398, EDUC 399, and EMAT 601 are the only experiences that can be applied for in April. It is important to be sure you have subscribed to Listserv as this is the main mode of communication regarding fieldwork. The Office of Field Placement communicates all information regarding fieldwork via Listserv. Application dates, deadlines, messages regarding orientation, or any changes will be communicated on the Listserv. Summer Field Experiences Beginning in the summer of 2012, the only fieldwork offered on the Atlanta campus will be EMAT 601. Summer field experience is limited to those candidates who are already teaching in their own classrooms or paraprofessionals. This experience is not open to stellar substitutes or other positions held in a school such as parent liaisons. For Macon and the Regional Academic Center students, Fieldwork 1 and Fieldwork 2 are offered in the summer to all students who apply during the April application period. Handbooks. Handbooks for each field experience course can be found on the Tift College of Education website. Handbooks are a requirement at orientation and should be downloaded and printed before you come to orientation. Candidates are responsible for the information in all handbooks. Handbooks are reviewed each year and changes are made if necessary. The Office of Field Placement has a no contact policy regarding school systems or system personnel. The Offices of Field Placement will handle all contact with schools regarding your placement. Students should not attempt to interfere with this process. Once you have attended an orientation for the field experience course you have applied, the director will give approval and instructions for contacting the cooperating teacher you have been assigned to. Otherwise, no contact should be made. Students who are employed in a school system where they are conducting mentored practicum or internships should also follow this non-contact policy as well. The Office of Field Placement places students within school systems in which we have current partnership agreements. Most all of our placements take place within a 25 mile radius of the campus for which you are enrolled. If you have a need for a placement outside the 25 mile radius, you will need to contact the Director of Field Placement for a waiver application. There is an additional supervisory fee for students who need supervision outside that radius. Placement outside the radius is not a guarantee. The website. The Tift College of Education website is a resource for all information regarding fieldwork. You should contact the Office of Field Placement if you cannot access information from the website. Mandatory Orientations Candidates enrolled in field experience courses are required to attend the mandatory orientation for that field experience course. Orientations are held just prior to the beginning of field experience. Calendars for orientation are set well in advance and dates should be placed on a candidate's personal calendar. If you fail to attend a field experience orientation, you will be dropped from your field experience course for this semester. No exceptions will be made. Orientation dates and field calendars can be found on the Tift College of Education website, all offices of field placement, and are sent via Listserv to students. Listserv and email addresses. Students are required to set up and use their Mercer email addresses while enrolled. The Office of Field Placement corresponds through Mercer email addresses only. Students should also sign up and maintain Listserv accounts while enrolled in field experience courses. Listserv is the main mode of communication for the Office of Field Placement. All calendars, important announcements, orientation reminders, etc. are examples of the types of communications you will receive via Listserv. If you do not receive Listserv, sign up today. You can find directions for signing up on our website. The Office of Field Placement has three locations. Atlanta, Henry for Henry, Douglas, and Noonan, and Macon for Macon and Eastman. 
meet our staff. Kay Thomas is the director of field placement. The Atlanta coordinator is Ms. Van Mincy. The coordinator for Henry, Douglas, and Noonan is Ms. Nikki Jackson. The coordinator for Macon and Eastman is Ms. Danielle Molina. We are excited about the opportunities awaiting you in field placement. Our staff is here to assist you throughout your tenure in our program. Please let us know if you have any questions.